What is going on, guys? Old dark, dirty, wet crawl space. Trying to figure out why some heat strips aren't coming on on a Tam 7 air handler. Let's get it figured out. house Good old crawl space it's not bad a little damp a little dry cobwebbed and a little musky yeah that water thermostat wire is up there it's been in here for a while it's a 2015 so about eight years but anyway evidently we're having some heat strip problems so I'm going to figure out what we need to do. I don't want this unit to come back on from the thermostat in there. They've got it set for heat. It just did satisfy and shut off. But I'm going to take this float switch out. And stick it in there for a minute. So that the thermostat doesn't come back on. don't have any fault codes. But figure out which set of heat strips we've got in here. Evidently... Probably 8KW, somebody said it was one bank that is not coming on, and one bank is, just to be perfectly honest, that's probably more energy efficient for him, <laughs> I don't it. as long as your heat pump's working okay, you don't need a whole bunch of heat strips running, running any light bill up, but that's how I've got, I have a three ton system but I keep a bank of my heat strips disconnected for regular use if something happens to the outdoor unit and I need to run the full stage of electric for heating temporarily I'll hook them back up but I don't need them for auxiliary so anyway so I've got 8kw strips in there so let's energize them and see what happens up here I'm just gonna get my other jumpers because some of these are handlers I can't remember but some of the trains you got to energize G and have that fan running before it proves heat strips these Tams I think if you energize your heat strips, it'll turn them on. So let's see what happens here. Let me get my meter out because one of these wires is going to be hot. And one of them's not because I opened that float switch to shut the thermostat off. And there's just a pigtail going back in here to the air handler to connect in there. Let's figure out which one of these is hot and which one is not. There's my common right there. So this is off. And there's my 24 volts on this one. We'll stick our wire nut back on this one. And then back on our common. And then this should be our heat strips over here. Stick my meter over here with my amp clamp. Run one of my line wires coming in. We'll see what kind of amp draw I'm getting on this. It should show two banks if they're both working. All right. I heard a 
a click. Blower starting to ramp up. I still like to, just for my own peace of mind, connect G up here. just to get that motor ramped up when I'm messing with heat strips. So I heard a click over here and I've only got 0.3 amps, but that's the blower motor starting to ramp up. So I'm jumped out with my, there we go. Heard my second click. And I have 17 amps right there. So let's get, let me scoot over here in this tight ass little spot. I gotta figure out which one of these relays. Because this has got that board in it. And I did hear them both click, but that's gonna be DC control. This is a communicating set of heat strips in here. All the newer cam air handlers, this board is not in it and they've gone back to their 24 volt control. So, let me confirm what kind of voltage I'm getting in here and I'm trying to give you guys some light. Let me turn this thing up a little bit, make it a little bit brighter. And then we'll stick that back there. Put some metal in there. Get a little bit of an angle. So let's set this to DC voltage. Let's see if I'm getting a call to each one of these relays first. I'm not showing anything on that one. So let me put this thing back to auto and just see. Getting 13.5 there. Not getting anything there. So, not sure about what kind of voltage that thing is supposed to send. So, I'm getting 13 volts DC to that one. Not getting anything going to that one. You got to check your flashing lights on there and it'll tell you, it should tell you what stage of heating is calling. Is it calling for both of those to be on or not? I don't know. So let me see if I can find the book for this. There's an install guide for the heat strips. Is there a service guide? Been a damn rats have been down here chewing the paperwork. So let me see if I can find that book for these heat strips real quick. <clears throat> so I've been through all that mess down there. Half of it's eat up by mice, rats, whatever. Whatever in the world comes around this place in the middle of the night, crawling around under this house. But nothing in there tells me my status lights how many flashes for stage one stage two all that. that's what i was trying to find and i can't find it in there i ain't worried about pulling it up online i don't have any fault codes there'd be a red light flashing on that but what i have noticed we only have one bank of heat strips running in this thing um it's 8kw so we've got two they're both connected there on the board there's two white plugs that one there and there's another one right there but the dip switches I did find that in there, and if you look, I'll try not to get electrocuted, there's a bank of dip switches right there. They're all in the on position, which in this unit is park, 
and you're supposed to set them in certain places for your KW. So if you look right down there, that very top row is parked. So it's supposed to kind of auto detect, but all are on. We have eight KW, so SW1 should be on, two off, and then three, four, and five on. Depending on what size heaters you're putting in, you have to set those dip switches. So that's never been done. So I'm going to set that dip switch. And also over here on our board where our thermostat wires come in, we're only calling for W1. We don't have anything going to W2 to bring on that second bank of heat strip, second stage heat. So I think between the combination of those two things, once I change them, put a jumper in there, we're going to find out if that works or not. So, all right, guys, this may not fix the problem, but I went ahead and set that dip switch up here. That second one going down is off. The rest of them are on. So with switch number two off, the rest of them on shows 8kw and then obviously i'll put a jumper between w1 and w2 right there and uh let's see what happens this time could be well these heat strips one bank of them have never run since day one i don't know we'll find out but let's energize my g and get my blower running I always like the blower to be on. Now this door is open, so most of that air is, this is positive air on this air handler, so it's going to blow by, but I'll get my quick amp draw real quick. And uh, hopefully they work. So I've got the blower running. Which I'm going to slide the door. Let me slide this in and go ahead and shut that door so I've got full air flow through those strips. All right, so I just went ahead and put the door back on. I just like to make sure I've got full airflow through there when I'm messing with heat strips. So let's jump them out. Let's see what happens. There's my wire right there. So I did hear that first click. Oh, let me set this to amps. Got 17 there. Second set of hit. There they go. Now we're at 33 amps. So that's all we had to do. Set our dip switch up there and hook our W2 up over there. And uh, I like these kind of calls, guys. I like these easy ones. I like these easy ones. Just attention to detail sometimes. Find your paperwork, reference it. And uh, a lot of times it'll point you right where you need to be. So there's a quick troubleshooting video on why only one bank of heat strips were running and the other ones were not. Wasn't set up right. Go figure. Anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe. Find you a dirty crawl space to get into once in a while. It lets you know you're, you're doing heating and air. At least residential. But anyway, you guys have a good weekend. It's Friday. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, see you on the other side.